Hello everyone, this is Kartik Selvaraj and in this video 5 of IBM WebSphere MQ File Transfer Edition Tutorials, we will see how to set up a coordination queue manager using FT commands. So I will straight away log into the server. So the command that we will be using to set up a coordination queue manager would be FT setup coordination. Okay. So I have already framed the commands. So if you want to know the parameters which are required to run this command, just provide iPhone H and you will know what are the parameters which are required. Okay, so I have already CD to do that part. So I'll run this. So you can see the syntax of this command. So ft setup coordination hyphen coordination qmgr so we have to provide the queue manager name in our case we have a, a queue manager name corddqm so this would be our coordination queue manager okay and next we have the coordination queue manager host so now we are running from this server so it would be local host you can also set up a um, queue manager as coordination queue manager which is residing in some other server you have to provide the host name or the ip over here in this okay next would be your port number so to know the port in which your uh, queue manager has been running over just go to the listeners and you can see the tcp port which is running on so 1414 okay okay so next would be your channel by default it will take the system.def.svrn so it's a server connection channel so it should be a server connection channel either you can prov create your own server connection channel or you can use the system server connection channel for this example we will use the system created channel which is system.def.svrcon okay. okay so i have already substituted these values i got it in uh, this file so now let me execute this so before executing i'll just cross verify codqm and make sure this is case sensitive it, okay local host okay okay temp yeah. press enter so you can see a file has been created in this location Okay. So you have to run this MQSC file against the queue manager that we are going to set up as a coordination queue manager. So now I need to run this MQSC file for the queue manager CORDQM. Okay. So normally the, the location in which the file will be created is uh, this C in the whichever drive you have installed MKFT program data. Program data is a uh, hidden folder so you need to unhide it or you have to show this folder to access it ibm mq mqft and you can see a config file over here okay so in the config file you have the cod qm and the coordination queue manager properties and you have an mqsc file as well now we are going to run this file okay so again this is ready as well so this is the syntax run mqsc space the queue manager name and put here an arrow <coughs> braces and you have to provide the location of the file where it is located and you can uh, provide where the log needs to be written okay so this log will be written in the path from which the command path is running on so if i am uh, running in this with this path the log file will be created in c program files ibm bitswell mq bin you can uh, get it created in some other path as well but for this example, I am just providing it as, uh, without any folder path so that it will create in the path where the uh, command has been executed. Okay. <coughs> Copy this. Okay. Done. Okay, let us go to the bin path and check whether the command has been executed successfully okay. this is the file 
then uh, you can see there are uh, some MQC comments so you can see no comments have a syntax error and all valid MQC comments has been processed so this means that we have set up the coordination queue manager now okay so that is all for this video so we will see how to set up command queue manager using FTE setup command in my next video thank you